Thank you, Dom. How are you today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Big after practice yesterday, and he was discussing how uh, how helpful it was to have someone who's a built-in uh, established captain on, on that unit to, to walk onto the campus and get to know. What has that relationship been like between you two? We called you an extension of the coaching staff. In what ways do you think you might fit that description? Uh, just always asking questions that uh, are like always come up when you have a new coordinator at the special teams, like all like the little details on what do you do in certain situations and uh, just really just getting that conversation with Coach Lustig and understanding like his his plan and his goals for the season and relaying that to the team. Donnie Collins. Hey, Dom, what, what's the spring been like with, with Coach Allen? And is there a way to compare and contrast him on the field, off of it, with, with Manny? Coach Collins, uh, I mean, Coach Collins, oh, wow. <laughs> Coach Allen has do, has been doing really well. I love the love the energy he's bringing to the team and uh, to the defense. I mean, he's a great coach. I'm, we're all excited to learn from him and excited to have a great year and uh I mean, he, he's a very personal guy. He loves having conversations and uh, just getting to get to know him is, is, is awesome. John McGonigal. Hey, Dom, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Um, you know, looking at the linebacker room, uh, you know, a name that we've heard a lot of really over the last year uh, since he enrolled was Tony Rojas. You know, how have you seen uh, him, you know, as an older guy in the room especially, you know, how have you kind of seen him develop and, and you know, progress into uh, the role that he might have this upcoming fall? He picks up the game really fast and really well. I mean, he, he's always excited to learn. He's doing a lot of film study, a lot of uh, study with the coaches and just asking a lot of questions to me and coaches. I mean, when he comes off the field, we always talk, talk about like, what do you see? What do you see here? What made you uncomfortable? What was a little weird and what was uh, different? And uh, we just really talk through everything and we're learning from each other. I mean, he's a great Great athlete, and I'm excited for him this year. Daniel Gallen. Hey, Dom. Uh, er earlier this offseason, Kobe King was talking about the difference between Coach Allen and Coach Diaz, and he said that you know Manny was someone you wanted to run through the wall for, uh, and he said that Tom Allen explains why you're running through that wall um, and really teaches that. You know, what is Tom Allen like as a teacher, and, and how does he kind of communicate that philosophy to you? Coach Allen really uh, really simplifies everything. He tries to make sure you know why you're doing everything. And uh, I feel like that's a really big uh, emphasis for him. And he always tries to do that. He makes sure we understand everything that goes on in the defense. Coach Diaz did the same thing as well. Uh, Coach Allen is just uh, doing it a different way. And uh, he's more personal with us and giving us having talks. And uh, even just the way he, he is every day. I mean, he's always positive, always has a positive attitude and always wants, to, wants the best for us. Rich Scarcella. Dom, thanks for doing this. Uh, who are some of the younger linebackers besides Tony who have uh, stood out so far in your mind this spring? Thanks. Tamir Robinson has been having a great spring so far. I mean, he's excited to learn and he's hungry. I mean, he's uh, he's fast and he, he's, he's, get, he's learned this defense very well and he's excited to play and it's very noticeable. Greg Pickle. Morning, Dom. Thanks for your time. Of course. Dom, uh, Coach Franklin said, I believe it was last week, talking about Abdul Carter going to defensive end, and, and then obviously you guys have to figure some stuff out in the linebacker room because of that. So how have you maybe seen the competition at linebacker this spring um, with obviously many guys, yourself included, looking to fill um, the snaps he left behind and then the snaps that are available in general? I mean, there's a, we have great linebackers. We have a lot of depth. I mean, we have a lot of young kids too. Excuse me. And uh, I mean, it's going to be a competition. I mean, everyone's hungry to play. We got Tony Rojas, Keon Wiley, KB on keys, Tammy Robinson. I mean, you got a lot of people and we got a lot of depth. I mean, it, it's exciting for the season. Ben Jones. Hey, Dom. Um, talking about Abdul, were you su surprised is maybe not the right word, but what was sort of your reaction when that change happened? And did you sort of have a sense before it happened? Um, that maybe that was in the works. Uh, kind of had a sense. I mean, he played a little bit against Maryland at defensive end in our uh, 
third down package. I mean, wherever you put Abdul Carter on the field, he's going to make plays. He's going to be disruptive, and he, he's he's going to get to the quarterback. Doesn't matter where you put him. I mean, he's just a freak athlete and a really really great to learn from. Ron Snyder. Hey, Dom, just from a mentality standpoint, what's the next step for you guys just in terms of, you know, getting to that national championship level? Obviously, there's a 12-team playoff this coming year, but from a mentality standpoint, you guys have had two really good seasons, but what's the next step from a, a mental perspective that you guys need to take to, to get to the next level? Well, changing into a playoffs uh, as a – as a college football does turn into, I mean, we got to prepare for a longer season now. I mean, got to have depth at all positions. I mean, we've been emphasizing that a lot. I mean, you got a few, about 17 games, 15, 17 games to make it to the national championship. So you got to really take care of your body. I mean, everyone's got to stay healthy and uh, it's really just next man up mentality. I mean, everyone's got to be prepared to play. Donnie Collins. Dom, how has the spring been different for you personally uh, from a practice perspective, uh, you know, co competing perspective? What, what's been the uh, – has, has it been different without Manny? Uh, no, it hasn't really been too different. I mean, just learning the new defense coordinators, lingo, and uh, just the way he is as a person and how he talks, just learning the new uh, verbiage from him. I mean, that's the only big, uh, big turnaround from – Coach Diaz to Coach Allen. I mean, everything, all defenses are usually the same. I mean, it's usually just called differently, called different names. So that's really the big turn for us. I mean, we're all learning it very well. We all picked it up fast, so it was no no problem for us. Joe Smeltzer. Hey, Dom, thanks for the time. So a few weeks back, I think it was last week, uh, Coach Franklin said that some of the things that this offense has been doing under Coach Curtle Nicky have been an adjustment uh, for the linebackers and safeties especially. I was wondering, without giving uh, any secrets away, obviously, what some of the um, changes um, have been uh, in going against uh, the offense uh, with um, the new stuff uh, that uh, Coach K has implemented. Coach K is bringing a lot of excitement just to the offense and to the defense. I mean, he he talks a little talks a little smack in uh, meetings to get us fired up. So I mean, he's really bringing everyone bringing everyone up to a different level, just bringing up the hype, and it's really awesome. It's really it's really uh, awesome to be a part of. I mean, Coach K was a is a great offensive coordinator. I'm excited for what he's going to do with our offense this year. Tyler Donahue. If I could keep your focus on the offensive end, I'm just curious from from your perspective, what has Cam Wallace looked like coming out of the offensive backfield, and, and maybe how has he looked differently than he did in year one on on this campus? Cam Wallace is running hard, and he, he's running with some anger. I, I love the way he's playing right now in this spring, and he he's he's hungry. And it's very noticeable. Everyone's noticing it. He's hitting the hole hard. He, he's he's making plays, and it's very not just on offense. He's making plays on special teams too. I mean, he, he's really focusing in and dialing in right now. Uh, we love it. Daniel Gallon. Dom, we we know you've had a pretty big special teams role uh, during your during your time at Penn State. What has it been like working with Coach uh, Lustig, and um, you know what is what about his approach might be different than than Stacey Collins, uh, you know, this year as opposed to last year? Coach Lustig really likes when we talk during meetings. He kind of gets upset when no one talks, and uh, he starts yelling at us. I mean, it's it's in a good way, which is understanding. I mean, learning a new special teams and. Uh, Special teams is one third of the game, so you really only have one shot. And he says one shot, one kill, and that's really all we get. I mean, you can't redo really a special teams play that that often. I mean, so you really got to be on your key, on your uh, piece and cues on what you what you're doing responsibility wise. Ben Jones. Dom, college football has always been so much about how you almost have to be perfect to make the postseason and as a guy who's been around obviously your approach might not change um but is there an excitement for someone who's been around a little bit longer that if you do exactly what you've been doing give or take you've got a good opportunity to get into that conversation for playing a national title does that feel any different this time of year knowing that maybe you don't have to absolutely be perfect to do that i mean there's always that goal to have an undefeated season and just go one and zero each week. That's a really big thing that we try to focus on. Uh, we're focusing on West Virginia right now and just preparing for them in Morgantown, which will be a great environment to play in. I'm pretty excited for. But um, yeah, we we 
we we always have those uh one or two losses. I mean, we're really excited for the season though. We'll go two more questions here, folks. We'll go Joe Lister and then Tyler Donahue. Go ahead, Joe. Dom, thanks for taking the time. On Abdul, real quick again, how much have you seen him at defensive end in practice and, and how has he looked? He, he looks really good. I mean, he, he gets off the ball fast. He's explosive. And uh, he, he's, he always gets to the quarterback. He's really good with his hands. He's a great pass rusher. So I'm really excited for him this year. Tyler Donahue, last question. Thanks again, Dom. I um, wanted to ask about Jalen Reed. We've heard he's really emerged at that at that new line position. Could you kind of give your best description of why he's a fit for, for what this defense wants to accomplish with that particular spot? He's a great player. I mean, wherever you put Jalen Reed as well, he's going to make plays. He's hungry, and uh, he understands the defense very well. He understands offenses very well and their tendencies. Uh, Jalen Reed, he's a great, great uh, covering in the slot, and he's also great at blitzing, so like he, he can do it all. So it'll be really excited for him this year. Thanks, Dom. Thanks, folks.